Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really quick five minute mommy makeup. I have like probably five minutes before my five month old wakes up. He's taking his first nap of the day upstairs, so I'm just going to try to get ready really quick. And I'm going to do a voiceover while I'm getting ready, but I'll show you all the products that I'm using and I'll have them listed in the description bar below. Hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do here is prime my face. I'm using the Becca First Light Priming Filter Primer and I've already moisturized my face so I can go ahead and just apply this with my fingers. I like this because it helps brighten my skin and I have dry skin so it also helps to moisturize it a little bit more. Then I'm going to mix two different foundations. I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation and the infallible, let's see, this is the Fresh Wear Foundation. And again, I'm just applying that with my hands. I know a lot of people think it's gross to use my hands. I washed my hands and honestly, I just don't have time to go in with a beauty blender or a brush for the whole thing. So I just use my hands and then I go in with a brush just to make sure that everything is fully blended. I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer here and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I really love this concealer. It's really affordable and it's very hydrating. I don't want anything dry under my eyes so I'm just using the same brush that I used to uh, kind of push in my foundation to blend out that concealer. Next thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and bronze my face. I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. I really like this bronzer because it has a little bit of a sheen to it so it helps make my face look extra glowy and hydrated. After I finish blending out my bronzer, I'm going in with the Milani, uh, it's their baked blush, it's the Luminoso shade, so it's like a nice light corally pink, and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks with a stippling brush, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the Hourglass uh, highlighter, it's their cream stick one in Champagne Flash, I forget the exact name, but I'll leave it listed below. that same bronzer that I use for my face as an eyeshadow. I just put a little bit right in the crease just as a transition shade. Just helps me look a little bit more awake than I actually am because my five month old is still not sleeping through the night. So I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> All right, next comes the brow. So I'm just using the e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade taupe. I love this eyebrow pencil. It's super affordable. I think it's like $2 so you really can't beat it for the price. So last thing I'm going to do here is apply my mascara. That probably takes me the longest. I know a lot of people say that usually their brows take them the longest, but honestly I don't really take that much time to do my brows. Maybe that's a bad thing, but for me I like to make sure that I apply a couple coats of my mascara and I'm using the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer in very black. That's like my go-to ride or die mascara. I love it. It's really affordable and it makes my eyelashes nice and long and separated and that's kind of what I'm going for. All 
And I just apply some chapstick, fluff my hair up a little bit, and I'm all done. All right, so guys, that's the finished look. I you don't usually put anything on my lips. And yeah, it's just, I can usually get this done in about five minutes while my kids are napping or busy. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, then please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.